and welcome. My name is Melissa Armo and I am the Stock Swoosh. And today I wanted to talk to you about overcoming fear. If you are a trader, if you're trading right now, you may have an obstacle in your way on a daily basis and it's called fear. Why? Because if you take a trade and you don't get the trade right, guess what the outcome will be? You will lose money. Consequently, if you take a good trade and you get the trade right, then you will make money, which is of course the reason and the goal for every single person that trades. Everyone that trades wants to make money. That is the goal. That's the reason that I do it as well. The idea, though, of overcoming fear in order to trade, whether that's holding you back to trade at all and you want to trade, or whether you are actively trading and you're trading actually in this fear bubble, you're not doing yourself any service by doing that. You're actually working against yourself if you're trading in fear, and you're probably going to lose more, actually. So there's only two ways, really, that you can overcome fear in reference to trading. One, cut your wrist back. If you're afraid and you're in a trade or you're, you're, you're trading and your emotions are full, filled with fear, then you need to cut your wrist back. You probably have too much risk on. And I'm just talking to you from experience. I can tell it when I get in something and I have too much risk on and then I start to worry about it. I can tell then that I have too much on. So cut your size back, cut your wrist back in the trade. So that's number one, easy solution. Boom, you can implement that today. The second solution to overcoming fear if you're a trader is you have to learn what to do and you have to have conviction in the knowledge of the information. So the second solution is have knowledge. Knowledge helps you overcome the fear because if you see something, and I do technical analysis, the way that I trade is based on advanced technical analysis and gaps. I have a specific method that I use. But if I see something in the chart, all right, I see it, or I see that it's going to happen in the chart, and I have the knowledge in my brain of what I know from all of my experience doing this for years, that helps me stay with a trade, even if the trade, for example, is up, stay with it longer to make more money, or it helps me stay with the trade if the trade is currently down so that it goes in a positive direction, because not everything goes the second that you do it. I mean, you know this if you trade it, and if you don't trade, and if you've never traded, I'm telling you, you might take a trade at 931 and it may not be positive until 942 or whatever. So the whole point, though, is to overcome fear because when you're trading in a fear mindset, you're going to make wrong decisions. And this goes for everything really in life, but particularly with trading because you're putting money on and you are the one that's making the decisions about your trades. You are making decisions about your own money. You're making decisions if you're going long stocks or shorting stocks or what you're doing on the day and how many trades you're taking and the size of those trades. But knowledge really helps you. And in this environment right now, particularly today's December 2nd, we started out the month volatile. I predicted it over the weekend. I sent an email out to clients on this weekend, this past weekend after Thanksgiving. I said, we're going to have a big month. And here's why. We're going to have a lot of volatility. It's going to make for good trading. I know how to read it. However, when the market is volatile, when stocks are volatile, people get tripped up. Fear comes in faster and bigger, and that scares people. And so the reality is you have to know what to do all the time. I mean, they just do. But you really are going to have to know what to do right now in this month of December because we're going to continue to have a volatile month. We're rallying today. We fell yesterday. It's going to continue to be choppy like this. You've got to get the direction right. You've got to stick with your trades if you know what you're doing. And if you don't, I can teach you. I teach a class once a month, and there's only one more Golden Gap course before the end of this year. It's hard to believe the year is almost up. The last class of the year is December 18th and 19th. And if you want to join, there's still time. The fact is, though, that overcoming fear is very important for your own personal success in trading, and not only that, in life. So either cut your wrist back or learn what to do so you can gain the knowledge so that it helps you trade well and trade better so that you can make money. No one wants to lose money. Do not trade if you do not know what to do. Do not just follow other people's trades blindly. That is dangerous. You have no knowledge of what they're doing in the trades, why they're doing it, or what they're doing. You have to learn what to do for yourself. I teach people what to do, and I call it empowering yourself. Because at the end of the day, you shouldn't be relying on anybody forever, okay? The person that is the best person to make decisions about your own finances is you. So if you learn what to do it and you arm yourself with that information, you're going to be a lot better off in the long run, and you're going to be a lot better off even today. Think about what I said. If you're interested in more information, email me, Melissa, at thestockswish.com. Have a great day, everyone.